What up, people? I'm gonna do this while I'm doing this, so because I'm in a hurry to get up to Orem, so I can get the uh, flip out of here. So, we got our DOT numbers today. Yes, sir. It's official. I know. It's not that big of a deal because anybody with a fucking monkey brain can uh, can get their their authority numbers. But it's still cool. It's still cool to know that we are one step closer to running under our own numbers and getting away from this shithole carrier that I'm on that has completely taken a dump since uh it's completely taken a dump since July since they got bought out which I guess is the norm oh and I guess today um 725 I guess today or yesterday or something we're being hacked by the Russians or something I don't know I don't know but I can just see it's another uh, excuse not to pay us so 597 sorry I gotta do this stupid thing that makes absolutely no sense with this stupid fucking Qualcomm that we have to fucking do every time uh, 50 different times because that is what we have to do now to get paid even though if we do it we're still not getting paid uh, so anyways so yes very excited as soon as it went live I guess uh, you know they tell you that you're gonna get a bunch of phone calls and of course I did so that was fun uh, after the second phone call I'm just like okay because you know they're like oh well you can file your UCR with us right now for hundred and forty nine dollars or something and I was like wait a minute I got an email from the company so I went through a DAT um, when I was gonna get my authority you know a couple months ago I kind of posted that video I was like wait a minute they sent me an email that says you can log on yourself and do it you know the UCR as soon as you get your DOT and MC number um, you can log on yourself and it was like 60 bucks or something like that so they're charging hundred and forty nine dollars to do something that you it's like getting your e, EIN number right so you can go on the IRS website and get your own EIN number completely free no cost you just fill out your name uh, they do like a, a, a check or whatever to make sure you don't have one and uh, like instantaneously or something or within a couple of you know minutes you uh, you get your EIN number but some of these companies are charging like a hundred and fifty dollars to put your name in like you talk about a racket boy so I know when we were doing um, 218 again this is I, I this is the shit that we got to do every freaking load uh, I don't know so we got we got our arrived at shipper our start new trip we're doing our shit okay so uh, I know when I did like my homesteading in Vegas before we moved um, this company like mailed me and was like hey we'll do your homesteading for like I think it was like a hundred bucks or something plus the, the the cost to do the homestead uh, to file the paperwork and uh, I was like what so I went on I think it's like 20 30 bucks or something like that to file your homestead with the with the state and so I went on myself and all it is is you just fill it out put your partial number in and go get it um, certified by a notary and then send it in 
So this company, they didn't even do that. You, they, they filled out the paperwork for you and then they mailed it back to you and then you, it was your responsibility to go get it certified uh, by a notary, mail it back to this company, and this company would mail it to your state county clerk or whatever the hell it was. I was like, well, this is ridiculous. So, anyways, hang on just a second. All right, I gotta let that uh, air up the trailer, all that good shit. Uh, so anyways, so very happy about that. Now I just got to, I guess they're doing the IRP and IFTA and try, I don't know. I gotta get the plates for the truck. Um, and then the insurance, which I think, when I was looking last time, I forget what I said in the last video, I think it's like 10 to 12,000. Again, that was like three months ago or two months ago, so who the hell knows? It's probably now like 30,000. Um, but that's all right. We'll see what kind of deal we can get if we pay it completely off uh, for the year. So I'm not gonna actually start until January uh, to, to pretty much get everything. Um, they said January 15th is, I guess that's the 21 day uh, period and all that stuff so probably not looking until the middle of the month uh, next year which is fine that way you know I'll have like everything will start at the beginning of the year with everything so but yeah like I said I still got to get the uh, the plates um, insurance all the fun stuff right so I don't know what I'm going to do yet as far as, hang on, we got we to gotta move up. We got to move up as far as the other truck goes. Now, again, I did create another company with a different name, slightly different than the, the my business name that I have out here, which I will eventually dissolve. Um, make sure I don't drop my trailer. But uh, I just, I don't know what, I told my driver, I'm like, hey, I don't know what I'm doing yet, but just a heads up, uh, I'm probably just going to, you know, where'd I go? Turn this truck in, and uh, I'm probably just going to turn this truck in, and then, uh, and then take the, the one that you're driving just because the the carrier that I'm leased on to they just I mean they're complete they've gone down the hill now we got you know messages sitting there saying something about the system has been hacked or it's down and God knows if we're even gonna get fucking paid to, today or tomorrow whenever the hell our, our pay comes in but it's like you know since July uh, I have not gotten paid my full uh, basically all of my trips right they're like a week behind on everything so like when I get my pay today more than likely there'll be some trips on there um, that are from last week right or two weeks ago whatever the hell it is so I don't know just getting sick and tired of their shit who knows again if we're even gonna get paid again I'm with a major major fortune 500 fucking carrier and it's like you got enough money to, to to buy up you know whatever you need to buy up but you don't have enough money uh to pay me or 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 you 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 have to hold my pay for a week so so we'll see what happens i i just i don't know i just don't want to run one truck and then have another truck but it is kind of a good idea to keep one truck on to the carrier to have constant uh, income coming in uh, until this gets straightened out so who knows um, they told me it's pretty easy to drop this truck and then add you know change basically change trucks but I don't know if I can take my plate from one truck to the other so if I get plates for this truck 
and then I decide to turn this truck in and uh, get the uh, and, and make the Coronado my my truck if I can just transfer the plates over or if if it's a whole different thing and it's like do do I just turn this truck in pull the Coronado off and you know just start and not even have to worry about it so I don't know I know each state is different on on how they do stuff um, so the thing is is if I get if I get plates if I get plates for this truck and then I have to get plates and I turn it in and then I get plates for the uh, Coronado how long does it take to get plates is it like a day uh, again I'm in Utah I have no idea so when I actually go down to get my plates, I'll ask them about it. So, the good thing is, is uh, in Cedar City, they actually, it's not like Vegas where, or Nevada, where there's only like two fucking places to deal with commercial. There's up in Reno and and Las Vegas. That's that's it. If you have a commercial license or you you deal with commercial vehicles at all, you got two places you can go. So I feel bad for people that are out in the middle of nowhere uh, that can't, you know. Oh, I think there's one in, in, in Elko or Wells or something like that. So I don't know. It's just bullshit. But apparently the DMV uh, in, in Utah, which is how it should be, is they can handle, you know, everything. So they can handle commercial, personal um, which is good. So, anyways, long ramble just to say, got my DOT number and my MC number, and uh, we are starting the adventure. Long awaited adventure. So, again, I just, I got tired of dealing. And, and then I got a lot of people that, that can help me out. Um, I got a buddy. Like I've said in the previous, uh, that's been wanting me to run with him. He can give me a trailer. Uh, he has available trailers for me that he's, he could rent me. And um, so I think all in all, I got a, a place to park now. You know, out here in Vegas, that was kind of one of my, my issues is like, where do I park? You know, if I got to have a trailer, uh, I could do power only. But if I, if I decide to get a trailer, where am I going to park? Uh, but now in Cedar City, I actually have a place to park, so and I don't have to worry about it. But, anyways, guys, I gotta go get my paperwork for this stupid trailer, and uh, we'll get up to uh, Orem tonight and hopefully make it back home. So, we will keep you updated, and I will talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.